In 1831, the scientist Robert Brown described a very important and unique cell organelle which is present inside the eukaryotic types of cells, which is nucleus. So that is what we are going to study in this lecture and uh, the structure of nucleus and the functions of the nucleus involved in the eukaryotic types of cells is what we are going to study in this lecture. So basically nucleus we know that nucleus is only present in the eukaryotic cell. So suppose this is the eukaryotic cell and it is having somewhere at the center or the somewhere else in the cytoplasm the our cell organelle which is nucleus. So nucleus is also the double brown, double bounded cell uh, organelle, the double membrane or cell organelle having the two membranes one is the inner and the outer membrane like mitochondria we have seen uh, it is also having the two membranes okay and this membrane or this envelope of the nucleus is uh, having the pores small holes uh, in its uh, envelope so it will having these small small holes in the nuclear envelope so the it is uh, the envelope contains these small holes or it is known as pores in the envelope and uh, the space between these two membranes it is having two membranes so the space between these two membrane is known as perinuclear space okay so this is our nucleus and nuclear membranes and the space between the these two membranes is known as perinuclear space perinuclear space and it is uh, here you can see the pores small holes through which some components like proteins and mrna pass from nucleus to cytoplasm and cytoplasm to nucleus so for transport purpose these pores are used by the cells to transport uh, some RNA molecules and some protein molecules from nucleus to cytoplasm and from cytoplasm to nucleus also some uh, components can be transported through these pores right so this is our nucleus and the speciality of this nucleus it contains the all genetic material of the cells right all genetic material of the cells which is transferred from generation to generation so it contains the uh, genetic material in form of a chromatin so what is chromatin chromatin is the fibrous uh, nucleoprotein which means nucleic acid and the proteins like histone proteins are involved in that chromatin material and it is also having the nucleolus so nucleus is the singular form of the uh, singular of the uh, nucleoli so nuclei too many uh, circular bodies are present or some suppose this is this one nucleolus so one circular body is present at the center of the nucleus which is known as nucleolus so singular nucleolus there can be two or three or many uh, circular bodies so it will uh, be named as nucleoli so singular is nucleolus many is nucleoli so this uh, nucleolus is present at the center of the nucleus and it is also nucleus also contains these uh, thread like nucleoproteins which is known as or fibrous uh, nucleoproteins which is known as chromatin so this is chromatin material don't confuse it with chromatid chromatin this center uh, circular body is known as nucleolus so this is our genetic material it is uh, this kind of structure is basically seen in the interphase of the uh, cell cycle we know that cell cycle has this so many phases like interphases and uh, that is what we are going to study in the few uh, more videos but in this case in the interphase of the cell cycle we can see this chromatin and the nucleolus and uh, what is chromatin chromatin is con consist of two components like nucleic acid as a genetic material which means DNA and the uh, 
proteins like histones so histones are the simple proteins present in the uh, nucleus or, or the chromatin of the nucle uh, nucleus so basically chromatin in, is consist of nucleic acid and some proteins like histones so that is uh, chromatin is present in the nucleus after that in some other different stages of the cell cycle these uh, instead of this nucleus there are some other structures can be seen in this cell which are known as uh, chromosomes chromosomes right so chromosomes are the structures which are which can be seen in the different stages uh, instead of in the of the interface after the interface the this instead of the nucleus these chromosomes can be seen inside the cell so what is chromosomes chromosomes are also the uh, nuclear nucleic acid and uh, it it is if the if you look at the structure of the chromosomes it kind of look like this okay and at this center there is a circular structure is known as centromere okay centromere so centromere is present at the center or according to the uh, location of centromere in the chromosomes chromosomes can be uh, uh, grouped into or uh, classify into four categories like metacentric submetacentric uh, acrocentric and telocentric so if the uh, centromere is present at the center of the two arms and it is dividing the chromosome into two equal parts it will known as metacentric so this chromosome is metacentric because the centromere is present at the center of the chromosomes so suppose this is centromere is present somewhere at this point okay so it will divide the chromosome into uh, not two equal parts one part is slight longer than other and the other part will be slight shorter than the other so that structure will kind of look like this suppose this is the centromere and it is let me correct it suppose the centromere is here and it is dividing kind of centro uh, chromosome into uh, two parts but one part uh, one arm is slightly longer than the other arm so this structure is known as submetacentric remember in what stage different different stages rather than interface inter during interface the nucleus will be present and the chromatin material will look like this and during other stages of the cell cycle this uh, chromosomes can be seen so it can be different types as metacentric submetacentric submetacentric centromere is present uh, somewhere like this in the chromosomes so it will divide the chromosomes into one part is one arm will be slightly longer than the other arm after that some other types like acrocentric so atro, ac, in acrocentric types of chromosomes in acrocentric types the centromere will be present at the uh, extreme or uh, we can say the at the near to the one end of the chromosomes so it will divide the chromosomes into uh it uh, will divide this chromosome into two parts one arm of that uh, chromosome will be so long than the other so uh, one arm will be extremely shorter and one ma one arm will be extremely longer so this type of chromosomes is are known as acrocentric acrocentric chromosomes okay and there are also chromosomes which are present uh that kind of look like this though so they are not having uh, they are having the uh, centromere at the end of the chromosomes so they are kind of look like this and this is known as telocentric chromosome so this is these are the some uh, groups of the chromosomes are these are the some types of the chromosomes according to their centromere and the morpho according to their morphology so chromosomes can be kind of look like this and uh, we know that this uh, nucleus and this nuclear membrane uh, 
the outer membrane of this nucleus is also uh, continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum why because the endoplasmic reticulum is performed in the function of the protein synthesis so that's why at the surface of the outer surface of the nucleus uh, there can be ribosomes also seen at the outer surface of the nucleus so i hope this is all clear to you the chromosomes and the nucleus and the parts of chromosomes and uh, also the function of nucleus which is mainly which contains the all genetic material inside it all protein synthesis is going on uh, at the nucleus not protein synthesis but mrna synthesis made and mrna is transported th through this pores nuclear pores to the cytoplasm at the cytoplasm that mrna will be converted uh, uh, with the help of that mrna the proteins can be made so that is what we are going to study in uh, higher classes uh, i hope this is all clear to you and this is all sufficient for your studies if you like this video if you found this video very helpful to you please support us and share this video to your friends thank you so much